This is Vincent Jonah again here at Vinology Wine Bar and Restaurant with our vlog. Bob Sparrow is our featured guest, and one of the things that I always wonder when going into a market is how do you determine if what you're getting is good and fresh, and how to determine that? So tell me when you're picking out meat and you go to a market or going to a restaurant, how do you feel good about what you're getting? Well, like for me, um, I don't go to many markets around here, but if I go to my daughter's in Minnesota, that's the thing that I look for is uh, the, the freshness of the meat, how it appears, uh, the smell of the market. And what I, do you mean by the smell? Well, sometimes you'll smell cleaning products and stuff like that, or just something that doesn't smell just right. And uh, that's kind of a giveaway. But you know, at our store, kind of like your restaurant, is, is spotless, I think. You know, I mean, we go out of our way and we employ extra people just to clean and maintain a high level of san sanitation, as you guys do, as I see that in your restaurant, in the kitchen and everything. I think that's really important. And you can spot that in the cleanliness of the people that are working and uh, all that. Yep, yep. And also, um, I think you mentioned to me in other conversations, making sure that the product is fresh and it's turning over. Exactly. So you can usually tell, I mean, some cuts of meat that are slightly dark is not a big deal because they may turn that way. You know, obviously they're going to start turning the second you cut them. But I think overall everything should appear fresh, you know, and, and, and pretty good color, you know. And uh, that's the deciding factor, I think. Yep. And recognizing that you're going through product pretty quickly. Exactly. And at Sparrow's yep. Market, do you have any idea of how much you go through on a weekly basis, how fast you're turning um, your I, I don't now, it's too busy to keep track, but which is a very good thing. <laughs> well, that's thing. what you want, and I'm, I'm too happy busy. For that. <laughs> but I can usually tell, and uh, you know, our like our burger, we try to grind at least eight to 10 times per day. Wow. All every different kind, and uh, you know, in maybe smaller increments, but that I think makes a big difference. Um, and there's just two of us that handle the chicken, retail chicken, that's me and then one of my managers. So wow. I check it usually every day, and uh, I think that's the best way to stay on top of things, yeah. Yeah, so there's only certain things you can delegate, other things you gotta do by yourself, you know. Yeah? Yeah. There's definitely a commitment. Yeah. I don't even wanna say how much this guy works. That I love it, and you know, it's just, it makes it a lot easier, but there's certain things, and I think cleaning and that is uh, right up there with the importance of having a successful business, yep. You just gotta clean a lot. Yeah. And then clean it again, yep. So that's an important part. Yeah, I agree. And that's like I can tell with your restaurant, everything's up off the ground and everything's very cleanable and uh, it makes a big difference. Yeah, yep. Good. Makes a difference. Yep. And that's why you get an analogy. That's right. <laughs> yep. For more great wine and food vlogs, like us and share.